Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 25th of August and it's uh, 25 past 1 in the afternoon and today I have got a very large haul of die-cast vehicles to go through. There's the box. Um, I've also got some brand new stuff in a carrier bag here and some charity shop stuff as well. Um, so this could be quite a long video because there is quite a lot in there but I'll try and get through it as fast as possible so let's just get straight into it shall we. So I'm going to start with the brand new stuff. I've got a number of these uh, gift set, five car sets I should say from Matchbox as they're on offer in my local Sainsbury's even though they had these in again until today. I bet they don't last as in I bet Sainsbury's will stop stocking them eventually like they did before so there's that one. Uh, that's the Matchbox off-road set, and then we've got the Matchbox City Drivers. Really, I was only interested in the two vans in that set. But the more I look at the boat, I actually quite like the police boat as well. Who is that van? I don't think it's an electric van. And we've got Coffee Cruisers 5. And the first thing I saw in that, well, yeah, the first thing I saw in that one that I really liked was the ambulance at the bottom there. And then I saw the Mustang. And I was like, yep, that's two good reasons that I do like the van, though. I think that's a Camaro at the top. Try and get it so the mic doesn't reflect off the plastic. Got quite a few of these, by the way. This one is the Autobahn Express. So I believe these are all, they must be sort of, no, they're not all German. I think we do have a Polizei. This car at the top there. And yes, these all will be open. Um, what's this one? Matchbox Metro. <laughs> that minivan at the top there. <laughs> nice pink colour. Oh, we've got a barger bug at the bottom as well. A Honda. Honda? Yeah, 76 Honda Civic. Matchbox field car. Uh, it's a modern version of a, one they did in the 70s. They did a field car in the 70s. What's this one? British Roadways. An LEVC taxi. Never heard of that. That's what that blue car is just above my finger. An LEVC taxi. Jaguar above that, Morris Minor at the top, I've got that in a different colour, it was done in the uh, traditional green that they were commonly done, what's this one? I don't know why because Tesla is not my favourite of companies, but I bought the um, anniversary pack. I do actually like the style of cars though, I do. Really Confess that. Oh, I've actually got one missing. Uh, that must be in the other carrier bag. Well, I've got this um, 60th anniversary majorette. What is it? It's the Alfa Romeo. Blah. I can't read it. The other one was a Volvo got to be in this bag. Yep, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> um, that, I, I do want to open it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> That's another anniversary one. Yeah, Volvo 240 GL Estate. Oh, look at the detail on it. We've got all the taillights uh, painted in. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I want to open those. I think those ones may actually stay in their packets. That's rare for me. Right, the charity shop stuff. So we have a Maystone, Maystone rather, Beetle. And yeah, here, Valentine 2000. It's in very nice condition. Wouldn't be it without box. Very well detailed as well. I wouldn't actually mind trying to find some more 
Maisto models in this scale. That is um, a very nice model. Uh, I got that from the community shop. I also got that one, that one, and this one from the community shop. I've got Mint Majorette Forgan Van with the Cadbury's Cream Egg livery. I've got Corby. Corby? It's because I was thinking of Cadbury and Corgi at the same time. A Corgi Cadbury van. Is that Model T? Yeah, Model T Ford van. Not usually my sort of thing, but I've already got the Kellogg's version of it. So I just thought I'd go for the Cadbury one there to go with it. And a Siku fire truck. It's missing the inner part of the ladder, but I'm not worried about that. I am certain that somewhere I've got the red version of this. Sure, at least I had a red version of it. I don't know if I've still got it. And from the packed animal sanct um, sanctuary charity shop, I found this lovely Corgi Ford Escort, the Mark III Ford Escort. Got a couple of little uh, paint blemishes on it, but nothing serious. It's still in lovely condition. And a Corgi Volvo. Again, in lovely condition, actually. I think I paid a bit too much for that one. That was two quid. Um, maybe if it had its box, but it's for an animal sanctuary, and I love animals, so. Right. I'm just going to open the drink. Now, as I go through this, I'm going to sort them as well. So anything I want to keep is going to have to go on the desk for now. Um, then I've got a tub on the floor which is probably going to be either eBay stuff or the charity shop donations or I'll just chuck them all together in this box. So I'm, I've run out of tubs. <laughs> so there is some large models in here as well. I'll probably put those in that pile on the floor. Um, I think I want to say it's, no, it's not all Matchbox, but I think most of it is. You can see a Corgi, I've got a Majorette in my hand. It's got a Majorette ambulance. This is in way better condition than my other one. So in case I haven't told you yet, this came from the Diecast guy. I've literally only just gone and picked it up. Like uh, five minutes before I put the camera on. So yeah, that's a keeper. I've got a duplicate here that I don't really need because I actually have several of these. Refuse truck. I do need to have a session of sitting here and putting some more stuff up on eBay. I've got loads of stuff on the computer ready to go. I've just been lazy and haven't done it yet. So I've got... I was going to keep this but I think I've already got it. Well, something very similar. Anyway, I'll have to double check. This is missing its doors as well. I will just chuck that down there in the keep pile. Now, I am going to keep these just because I have an obsession with car transports. I've already got two of these over there. <laughs> but I just adore displaying my cars on these, so I'm going to keep them. Until I, you know, feel I've got enough. Oh, just found another cool. Oh, I found something in a box here as well. Made by Welly. I don't know if we've got the cab for this one, but I've got a trailer for one here. It's not in as nice condition though, so I may not keep that one. Oh, just threw that straight on top of that beetle. Poor beetle. Just get these big ones off the top out of the way. So we've got a transport trailer here. Um, it's missing its tyres, it's fixable. I might actually put this one on eBay, because I'm pretty certain I have got one. But that would be an ideal restoration project for someone, or even a Code 3. Because there is a lot of people these days that do like to do custom builds, and I have seen some excellent ones in one of the Facebook groups I'm on. So yeah, that one may uh, go up just as is. I think. Uh, 
That is in better condition than my other one, so I'm going to keep that. This little dump truck. Actually, I don't think the other one's got the removable tyres on it. Okay, I think for large stuff, at least at the moment, that is pretty much it, apart from a corky truck there. Ooh! Now that was a nice surprise. I just saw the uh, boom of that sticking out. Little corgi, um, Simon Snorkel, or Simon Snorkel, I don't know how they pronounce that. Fire truck, which has still got the boom. That is why I'm really surprised and glad to have that, because none of mine have got it. So now I've got that version. They did this in different colours as well. You can get one in yellow. The boom in yellow, I mean. It's an ERF fire truck. They never put like the blue beacons on the roof of this for some reason. You've always just had to pretend. Got another corgi cool there. We've got a few different. We've got a, quite a mix in here. Ooh. My first Matchbox double decker bus. I've got a little collection of these, and I'm pretty certain I don't have the double decker bus. What have we got here? Oh, a red version of this. Whatever this is. <laughs> um, turbo BMW, that's all it says. I've got that in a few different colours, including a worn out red version there. Oh, are you kidding? What was that, a Vectra? Looks like a Cavalier to me. No, it is a Cavalier. That. I've been after one of these for ages, but they always demand a good price online. Matchbox, Mark III, Voxel Cavalier. And it is in excellent condition as well. I know someone that actually had one of those, and it was actually a very reliable car. Until it hit 200,000 miles, and then the bottom end of the engine went. <laughs> while Mum was driving it, actually. Um, if I can get the wheels back in place on that, that would be a charitable donation. I'm not interested in that. What's this one? I always lose the engines! I've got some of these, but this one looks like it's in a different colour. Slightly different shade, so put that there. I mean, some of these that I put in a keep pile could end up in the uh, get rid of pile as well. Oh, this is nice. Nice little Jeep from Matchbox and the big chunky wheels. Corgi Whiz Wheels uh, Ford Cab. In a very good condition, got a mark on that door. What's this? Barago? Yep. Barago Corvette. Hmm, now what to do with these? Because I have got a few the shell tankers. I'm going to put it in the key pile for now. Um. Oh. I was going to say I was going to sell this one, but we've got a door missing, so that might end up in my scrap pile. And the back wheels are all pushed in. But that's got a number 9 on. Now, I can't remember if it was the one with the number 9 on the bonnet, or the number 6. One of them's a rarer version than the other. It's just a shame that one's a bit beat up. I need a scrap pile. Right over there, the meerkat can look after it. <laughs> and I, think, I think this one's had the spoiler broken off. Is that a majorette? It is. Majorette Lamborghini. Oh no, that's not where a spoiler's broken off. It is meant to be like that, I think. I'm guessing they're meant to be vents. Just one. 
Well, that's probably one of the better ones I've now got, so I'll keep that. Whatever it is, I don't know where the magnifier has gone. Only reading squints for that matter. Oh, here it is. I think this might be a good time, you know, to uh, perhaps pause the video, go and get a cup of coffee. Like I said, this could be quite a long video. Oh yeah, the Fandango. Yep, so that can go over there. before I go any further. I should have done this before I start actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get a couple of photos. Actually, you know what? Just, uh, I'm not going to worry about everything though. for the Facebook groups. Look at my haul! That seems to be a really common thing to do, you know. People showing off their hauls from like car boot sales and whatnot and toy fairs. But, um, it is actually lovely to see, you know, what people have uh, picked up. I think that is a major Ek tractor. Yeah, it is. I'll actually say what the tractor is though. Nope. It's just tracteur, because <laughs> it's French. So it's actually spelt tract. Now the first part of it is spelt exactly how we spell it, but then it's got E-U-R on the end. Tracteur. <laughs> I, I can't do a French accent. It would probably sound a lot better with a French accent. Mm. Oh, it's got a door missing, but I do like collecting these. Matchbox convoys. In fairness though, even in poor condition like that, you can still sell them on eBay. People just love these. So we've got a flatbed trailer as well. Could have been a NASA one. Might have had the NASA rocket on it. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> um, there's another matchbox convoy. I don't think I'm going to have enough room on this desk. Actually, just in case I hit the space bar and start playing that video. Um, okay, there's another one for the scrap collection because it's got a broken wheel. I was actually thinking of literally setting up a model scrapyard somewhere and then putting it up on the um, Facebook groups, you know, let me know if you need any specific parts and I'll just pull them off at the cost of postage. <laughs> you know, or even if they need the whole vehicle. Oh, nice. That's the second one of these I have now. It's a Ferrari, isn't it? I just can't remember what Ferrari it is. Uh, no, it's a Corvette, dumbass. Who do I think that was a Ferrari? I've been looking for one of these again for ages. I have got one, but it's not as nice as that one. That one's a keeper. That one's going to go over there with all my other niceties. Here's another... Merryweather fire truck. We've seen the ladder, of course, they all are, but other than that, it's in fairly nice condition. I've just thrown it over there, apparently. So that's where that landed on its wheels as well. <laughs> but that can stay down there now. Oh, I, can re I can't remember, is that Lone Star or something? Yeah, it is. Doesn't say what it is, though. It's not in the best of conditions. It is a Lone Star MP. It doesn't say what sort of truck it is though. Oh, there's two of these in here so far. I'm definitely going to eBay one of them then. I'm not going to need to. Oh, no, I'm not. 
because there is a color, there is a variation. Farm Ranger, but if you look at the base, look, one's got a yellow, one's got a grey. Be careful with that, because they do consider that a variation in the models. Another Majorette roller. I'll say another one, because I've got one in the for sale pile, one in the collection, and another one here that I don't know what to do with now. The other one in the full sale pile is actually worse than this one, so I'd be better off selling this one and putting the other one into the scrap pile. Oh, excellent. Oh, it's got a sticker missing on one side. But it's still better than the other one I've got. Way better. Corgi Lorry with the... Um, Marvel Comics on it. Read Marvel Comics. That one I'm keeping. There you go. Random toy dumper. Pete, I weren't doing car boots because I'd have had a hell of a lot of car boot fodder. Don't know who this is made by. It's got boxing written on it. But I like that. Have you got a maker on the bottom? MC Toy. Made in McCaw. I'm going to keep that. I know the wheel is a bit bent. I'll try and straighten that out at some point. Wheels, I found a Hot Wheels. The tilting hood on it, that's nice. It's in nice condition as well. Uh, Major Ep with the snow plow on the front. I forgot Major Ep even did that. That's a nice find. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so we've got a Corgi cab in Volvo cab, which is a little bit rough. Globe trotter written on it. I was just seeing if it had Weetabix or anything like that written on it, but it's just got Globe Trot. A keeper because I do sometimes come across random. Um, oh, what do you call it? Random um, trailers. You just love it when you get a brain freeze. Oh, this is in nice condition. Mercedes uh, wagon. Let's say. It's in very nice condition. And that one can go in my scrappy heart, scrappy yard, scrappy hard even. It's even got one windscreen broken on it. Okay. Go over with the meerkat. <coughs> See this? Two more here. We've got the uh, Mustang and a Cougar. I could just probably put a bunch of scrap stuff together and that would probably sell on eBay as well. People making scrap dioramas or just want some for some parts and whatnot. Oh, it's Disney cars. It's almost like the sort of thing Hot Wheels would do, but I don't think it is. Nope, it just says Disney Pixar on it. Um, nor that, I've got a couple of variations of this already. What's this? Ford Galaxy, if I remember correctly. Yep. <coughs> Fire Chief. Put that down the scrap pile. One is, one is a police car. Mercury. 
Made in England by Lesney, Matchbox series. Super fast. I can't resist keeping police cars and things. Well, we've lost the rear axle on this one. That'd be an ideal candidate for the scrap heap. I just need to find like a surface somewhere where I can, you know, just make a little scrapyard diorama. Hey, diecast guy was right. There is some nice stuff in here as well. And here's another refuse truck. Very common casting. Yeah, the other one got regular wheels. Yeah, the other one's regular wheels as well. I do like them. I might actually keep a couple just to do a couple of code threes on that. Maybe. Uh, it's not much different to the one that I've already got. A little doggo sticking out the back window there as well. Little driver though. I hate it when I can't decide. Chuck it down there for now. I can always change my mind late. But, uh, well, this is what I haven't got. Lamborghini Miura. If I have, I'm pretty certain. Well, no, I haven't got it in this colour. The name rings a bell, but I'm pretty certain I don't have it in that colour. Not a super fast. I love these thin, super fast wheels. I don't know why, I just really like them. Uh, I can go to box for charity. Really, my butterfingers at the minute. I've already got a couple of these myself. I think I've actually got one on eBay at the minute. And that one's quite tatty, so. Hey, another one! Someone's painted the cab red on this one, though. It's meant to be orange. That I'm keeping. Having a bit of a competition. I'm going to. Well, competition say competition. It's not really a competition because it's only me involved. <laughs> um, but I'm just seeing how many of those I can actually collect. Oh, that's just caught my eye. Oh, someone's done a personal paint job on that one. I think. Yeah, I don't think Matchbox did that on the bonnet. Well, it doesn't match the rest of the colour anyway. But it has both rear doors. And I have got some in way better condition that are missing those rear doors. So, I'm going to keep that for that reason. In fact, that could go in the scrap. I might salvage the doors off a bit later. And a refuse truck. Tanker. I don't need it. I've got plenty of those. Same with this. That's missing its uh, side door as well, but I have got a couple of these. Big door. It's a matchbox. That's not in bad shape either. Keep hold of that one. Okay, just a, a random wind-up toy. Old combine. It's actually the first one I've come across missing the front tyres. I've got so many of them, most of them actually do have the tyres. What's this one? This one's a bit damaged. It wasn't another version of that Jeep from Matchbox. It's a little bit damaged, but I will keep it. Paint works nice. Uh, I've got Thunderbird 4. Not really my thing. Not in that box. Oh no, this isn't in too bad shape either. I believe I've actually got this boxed up on the shelf. Keep 
I have got a few of these with the plastic front, but I've only got one which isn't damaged. See, that one's got the corner chipped out of it. But I do like these old trucks. Super Kings uh, AMX Javelin. I have no idea they did a Super Kings version of that. I'll put that with the other big stuff. I've actually got one of these to go up on eBay with the trailer. Another truck and trailer set. I know they sell the trailers separately, but I'd rather sell them as a set if I've got them. I don't have a spare red trailer for that. And again, I don't need another one because I've got red. Another uh, Mercedes wagon. Rescue unit. Another keeper. That one's not a keeper, and I've actually recently sold a few of these on eBay. That's where that one will go. Ooh, a Mitsubishi Evo. That's a definite keep. Is that one of these with the light-up lights? No. Oh, it's got the, um, the base for a friction motor, but it doesn't have that either. Oh, it has got a button on the roof for lights. It's not working though. I'm looking at it myself, I've not even shown you guys. I'll keep that. See if I can get it working. find a, a manufacturer on it. I can't even read that font, no idea. And there is something written on the front there as well, but it's just so badly done I can't read it. Corgi Land Rover tow truck complete with beacon. I don't know. I'm always missing the hooks though. I think I've got like one that still has the hook attached. And here's another one. And these are armoured car things. Again, missing the radar, but... I've got one in the tub and I'll put one in the junkyard. These are another one that I come across regularly. The wheels are bent on that one. If they weren't bent, I would have put it on the eBay's. So I don't like putting damaged stuff on there unless I was going to do like a scrap jo um, job lot. It's got a decent pair of front wheels on the front. Oh, there's another common one. The bloody hovercraft. I don't know how many of them stupid things I've got. Hello. A Brago? Yeah, a little Brago Porsche. Another bus for my boxer buses. <laughs> I haven't actually added anything to that box for a while. Yeah, that one's been painted with some red, but it's not the worst one I've ever seen. I suppose with a bit of work I could get the paint off if I really wanted. Matchbox Specials, Chevrolet Camaro. Maisto! Maisto tow truck. There's another one that I can stick in the charity stuff. I thought I had that, but no, the other one's in different um, paint. Same style of car, just different paint. I like that one better, actually. Uh, okay, that one I think I will put on eBay. 
No one is too badly damaged. Not a pink Jeep. But it has got the engine on it still. Is that another matchbox? Yep, another matchbox special. The Porsche. A little bit rougher. New Corvette. Camaro, rather. Corgi Fire Chief. I know I've got that car, but I don't believe it's got um, you know the Fire Chief markings on it. There's still so much in here, guys. Got some back wheels there that I'd have to pull down, but we have got a broken hook, but a hook on it nonetheless. How did that get that side? You know, it's meant to be in the middle there, but look, it's on the outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will keep hold of that because I will try and repair it. it was for their Balkan series recovery vehicle. Recovery vehicle, I think. Um, perhaps recovered it to the last. I might be able to fix that. I'll just leave it as it is. My pile's getting a bit big up here. Let's put these larger ones up down here. There we go. Try and keep it so it's the smaller stuff up there. Okay. A bit of a handful here. I might just do it that way. Uh, I've got Cadillac Ambulance. I want to do a few Code 3s on these because I have got several, including some in the junkyard box. Um, you know, I've got enough of these, so that could be an eBay one. Same with that, don't need a crane. This, however, is quite nice. But I need to double check on whether I've actually got it. If I've got it, it will go on eBay as is. So I'm going to put that one over there, actually, that little Ferrari. Got another Corgi Buick Regal here, and of course, as always, the bloody beacon's been pushed through. In fact, the um, base isn't very good on that one either. See, that little spring tab for the uh, suspension is all broken on that, but it's got good windows and good chrome. So I could actually repair one of the other ones using that one. Probably the most common jack speed Ford Capri Corgi ever did. Oh, it's a Corgi. Corgi race car. Yeah, a little Corgi bus. Not in the best of condition. What's it got written on the side? Devon General. General bus, General Hospital. Bang. Let's bring it a bit closer. And I haven't got so far to reach, have I? Don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Um. Oof. Might be repairable. Oh nope, the shell is a bit damaged from that being my junkyard. Oh, bit too close now. <laughs> I was so carried away going at arm's length. Rover Sterling. Now I do like these. Another Mercedes minus the bloody windshield. It's so rare to find these complete. But I do keep them in the off chance that I can either use those good wheels on something else or I find a windshield. You know, a really scruffy one that just happens to have a windshield. Just got the Matchbox camper van. Got a 
don't think I've... No, I haven't got a plain one of these. They did a NASA version. They did a similar thing with um, a fire engine as well. Uh, I'm going to put... I don't know. Because I have got this, but condition-wise... I mean, paint-wise, this is in bad condition, but the plastic is really... Uh, Sun faded. I'll keep that for now and compare it with my other one and then just see which one I prefer. It's made in China. It's missing its hook, but it's still an interesting thing. Shame it's missing its hook because it's not really a bad model. It doesn't have the maker's name or anything on the bottom, it just says Made in China. Eagle Star. Oh, it extends as well. It's a shame, it's missing a hook. Mind you, I could potentially make something to go on there. Oh, that's a shame. Because I actually quite like that, but it's missing all its rear. It's a transformer. Okay, yes, yeah, missing these legs. I don't know, maybe they're in the box here somewhere, who knows? Just in case. I am surprised the diecast guy didn't take that. Matchbox Jeep. Missing the uh, windscreen, windscreen surround, but look at this, it's a red lines. It's not in the best of conditions, but it's still a Hot Wheels red lines. Chevy Pro Stocker. I don't know if they all did, but a lot of these that I've seen came with the, um, I think it's the Peterbilt. I can't remember if it's a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. Oh. Hope I can tell you at the bottom of this. Kenworth. Uh, transport trucks. But I don't know if they actually did them separately. It's not in the nicest of conditions, but still. Oh. me. Whips, soft drinks. I know I've got this one so that can go on the Ebays. Yeah, I remember this. They used to come in a five pack tube. Dare. I've actually got the um, Chevy one still. So I'm no glad I've got that one to put with it. Ooh. Lamborghini Countach. Yep. With good condition laser wheels. It's in good condition as well. Oh, that has got to go over there with all the others. Uh, a Siku Jeep. I've got plenty of these. Don't need another one. That's a bit of a shame. It's missing the front, but the paintwork's in relatively nice condition. Yeah, I'll donate that one, not only because someone has uh, done their own custom car full paint job on it. I think that is, yeah, that's the Corgi version, not the Husky. Um, it requires batteries. It's Hot Wheels. I probably don't want to look in here, do I? Get in there anyway. The screw.
screw is just going around in circles. I'm going to keep that for the time being. I want to have a look in there. See what the batteries are like. Assuming they are still in there, of course. Right. Good old Corgi Red O Look type van. A fairly common one from them. Okay. With barrels for wheels. I'm not interested. Are these the same? Oh, they are the same. Ford GT. I don't have that. Not in this colour anyway. Yet they are identical. It's just that unfortunately that one's missing its windshield. And that one can go down there, that one can go on there. Old regular wheels, Land Rover. Very hard to find one in good condition. Oh no. Oh no, I think it is actually meant to be like that. I thought it was missing the um, lid. Look at that, it's another laser wheels. Oh, I'm going to make some of the turd. <laughs> like a kid in a toy shop, aren't I? Oh, what's this one? Matchbox Match Rancho in blue. Yeah, I thought it was missing the top bit, window bit, but apparently there's nothing there to house one, like the Corgi ones. It's in nice condition as well. Very rare car in real life as well. Oh, I think this is a, like a little slot car thing. 1996 Mattel. I'm not really sure whether that would be worth eBaying it. I don't know what it would go with, so I don't know how I would advertise it, even if I did put it on eBay. Um, I'll put it in the eBay box at least. And that's going to go in the bin because that's just smashed to crap. That'll be another Corgi, won't it? Corgi bus, yeah. Eastern National, that one. Ah. Now we will keep hold of that one simply because it's got one of the tow hooks on it. Four day series in yellow. I've got one in red. I believe I've actually managed to complete. I can't remember if I've got a yellow one. There's another one. Again, missing the windscreen surround. King of the Road. Oh, it's a matchbox. Models of yesteryear. What is it? 1919 Walker. I thought it was missing a canopy, but again, I can't... Maybe it is missing a canopy. Steering wheel is still there, though. <laughs> That's a, that is actually an interesting little thing. I'm keeping that. Yeah, it's one of them sort of corgi... Did they call them a growler or something? It's got that little wheel on the bottom. I just... can't remember. I do like those, so I'm keeping them. I'm not keeping this though. And that is actually filthy, so. Police command you. You can command the bin. Yep. 
and the second one of these from in here and they're both missing that as well but you can find um, reproduction doors to go on the backs of these on eBay it's actually in worse condition than the other one at least paint wise but it's got all four wheels the bulldozer here which is actually missing its uh, blade and tracks I've never found one of these with the canopy not in this colour anyway we're getting there another one that can go and be donated not much for donation that's a very tatty corgi whiz wheels Ah, oh, that is a shame that's matchbox jaguar e-type with a squished roof and i bet i'm not going to be able to straighten that am i it's going to snap all of those little pillars but it has got all four tyres, which would be a benefit. There's a bummer. Austin 1100. Still got the dog hanging out of the window. I do like these a lot. I've done a few Code 3s and some restorations as well. On the shelf. I don't know how many of these things I come across. This is not a really popular casting. Someone's put the sunroofs through. I haven't got any for the scrap box, I don't think, though, so that's where that one can go. One of these husky tippers with the load. I'm going to keep it just because of that. I'm going to see if I can prize that. Out of there. Someone didn't like this then. That's a snow, well, half of a snowplow. The cab and everything is missing. <laughs> That'd be an interesting little thing to put in the junkyard as well. Um, I have got that in nice condition, so that's going to go on eBay. Very slightly bent wheels though. I'll have to remember to put that in the description. Okay, so we've got some models of yesteryear scrap. Oh, I'll have to just pry that seat out of there for mine. And just bin the rest of it. It might be handy just to keep a couple parts off of that. So I've got a few where the seats have gone walkies, especially the rear seat, so let me just put that over there and I'll prize that off. Oh! I've got a 176 scale car here, not Jaguar. S something Duca. Yeah, got a nice little Jaguar there. What's more modern stuff for the railway? So there we go. I've got it. And this is a little uh, Welly Mercedes Benz, but the back somehow, even though it's boxed, look at the back wheels. I'm not going to keep that there. Go to a local charity. As can that. Mm, yeah, that's not my cup of tea either. Um, very tatty Volkswagen Golf from Matchbox. There's another one that I can put in the donation box. I don't know what that is.
Ooh. What if we have the fire engine in here that that goes on? That's a good boom, though. Uh, oh, that one's got a smashed windshield. I've got a few of these and I've got... Well, I've got a few in the collection and I've got a few to go on eBay as well. That's not in bad condition, but I've got a couple of these, so that'll be an eBay one. As will this um, Ford Sierra, because I've got a couple of these. The home range. And I've got plenty of these as well. ERF fire truck from Corgi. Purple tow truck from Corgi. Land Rover. Again, missing the hook, but it's got the beacon. Still got the beacon. Ah. Okay, this is missing the driver and the sticker, but other than that, the paintwork is in way better condition. And the wheels are actually, than my other one, so. I will keep that. I've probably got some spare wheels that will fit it. Ah, here's the older field car that Matchbox did. Missing the plastic canopy. The matchbox fire engine in relatively nice condition actually. That um pro stocker, I think it was the Camaro, found a truck for it. I always miss those bits, I always get broken off. One's a little bit tatty, not mercury, super fast. And yeah, we've got Lincoln. Missing the trunk lid. It is a super fast one. I've got regular wheels, but I don't know. It's missing the trunk though, isn't it? Another little Lone Star Impy, but it's missing all the bits from it. Oh, green one! I got this in red. Corgi horse box, but not a green one. I still not found the um, thingy for the, the fire truck for that. Oh, another box. There's an F1 boxed model here. I wonder if we've got the front part for this. That's Corgi. That's Keeper just because I like Mustangs and I want to do a few Code 3s. I wonder what Code 3 is. It's just basically talk for a custom. There's a regular wheels version of that Mercedes again, missing the window. Missing its stickers, but otherwise in relatively good condition. But I do have this. I'll see what it does on eBay, you know. That one's been rolled, but it's still got the engine. I had one of these with absolute spot on paintwork and a little wear on the stickers on eBay, but I took it down because I actually found one of these. <laughs> in this rough condition with the engine, so I took the engine out of it and stuck it in the other one. So I will keep hold of that just for the engine. Uh, another British Telecom van. It's actually better on that side. Just a Corgi uh, American van as they called it, or US van as they've got written under there. I 
I can't see the bottom of the box at least, so we are getting there. Oh, look at that, there's another one there. It's got the same headlight snapped off as the other one. Look. See? Exactly the same bloody headlight snapped off, but this one's in way better condition. Um, so yeah, that one will pull a few bits off of it. That one needs three tyres. I think it is a left and right like headlight, so I couldn't even like break that one off of that one and glue it on. Unfortunately, here's the boxed F1 cap. F1 Retro Friction Renault Toys ING Renault Toys I've never seen one of them, I didn't even know Renault made toys but, Sir, I'm going to keep that one in its little box I like that, what's this? Texaco Is that Corgi? No, it's Lido Days gone by Now I sometimes play a game called Gas Station Simulator and I have a fuel truck on there just like this. Yeah, I'll put that in the donations box. Hang on. No, it won't because it's broken. That one I'll try on eBay. So I've got plenty of these. In various different colours as well. Uh, corgi dumper. I have got a better one than that. If that was in better condition, I know someone I could have sent that to. And there's another one of these. Who actually made them? Because I didn't look on the other one. Oh, it's a McDonald's toy. Maybe I should actually put both of these as a pair on eBay then as they're McDonald's toys because people collect them, don't they? Yeah, I might do that. Oh, a Corgi, a Corgi Firebird in a colour I don't have. I'm missing the spoiler on it, but never mind. I've got a few of these in this colour as well. So I might try that one on eBay. I don't know if I've got the regular wheels version of that trailer. So I'll keep hold of that. Very rough looking AMX Javelin. Which I've got several there. Uh, I'll say several, I've got a few of them in good condition. Corgi Porsche. Might be one I'll try on eBay. It's a Maisto Jaguar, but it's not quite rough. Give that one to a charity. <clears throat> Matchbox front loader that someone's painted silver. But it has got its shovel on the front. It's worth keeping just for that. Oh. Well, I had no idea they did one of these in this colour. So I'll keep that. I've got it in green. It's one of their GT versions. I had no idea they did a white one. Very uh, broken forklift that I would think would be suited for my junkyard. Oh no! That's a shame. I'm still keeping it, but it's a shame. It's a Siku vintage Siku Mercedes, but we're missing a wheel. 
Oh, what a shame. for the scrap pile. Got Corgi Range Rover, a Land Rover, I mean. Missing its front axle. We've got... No idea, but it's missing its roof. I think it's a cab. Oh look, there's the cab for that snow plow, but again it's missing the plow. Chassis cab? That's ideal for a Code 3 project. Ah, Corgi Rockets. Not in the best shape, but I do like keeping these. I have actually got the keys somewhere for them. Oh, we were talking about these the other day. On my Discord server, I'm on Matchbox locomotives and rolling stock. Did a lot more variations of these, and I actually thought they did so. Keeping that. This one's a bit rough. I can't remember what it is. Is it Victor Estate or something? Yeah, Vauxhall Victor Estate. I got it in way better condition than that. Nothing near. A junk box. Although I bet I could actually sell that one on eBay. Pink tractor from Matchbox. It's not in bad shape. I may put that one on eBay. Oh look, there's another one minus the front. <laughs> well, that has got a very good set of wheels on it actually. That'd be worth it just for that. I don't know who it's made by though. Ooh, it says farm tractor made in China. for a matchbox bulldozer. I'm going to keep that. Just purely for the fact that they go missing a lot. What else have we got? Are you serious? That's the third one. Um, oh, this is one of the Rollomatics. That little safari truck. Ranger truck. It's meant to be a canopy on the back with an animal or something in the in it that rotates on that platform. I do like those just because I like the truck. Um, okay, I'm going to straighten that out but it is a matchbox trailer. A bit bent. But it'll straighten out. Uh, your truck that I'll put in a donation pile. I'm going to go through the um, to get rid of pile. The Corgi Pope Knee Club. <laughs> Didn't want the tailgate anyway. And I don't think I've got anything that I could put behind that, but oh, and all the tow bar is broken on it as well. It. I have got a few of these and apparently there is a rare version of it. Do I actually have it? No. It's got the pinhole in there. The rare version doesn't have that pinhole apparently. That is in pretty nice condition though. I think I'll put that one on eBay because like I said I've got this. I've got it a few times in various conditions. So. Matchbox. 
box Ferrari in nice conditions. I'm going to keep that. Charities. We've got a Hot Wheels uh, fantasy vehicle. And we've just got one of these cheap, nasty things as well. Now, this one is OO gauge scale, but I don't want it for mine. But I know a person who would have it, so I'm going to give that to her. There you go, cat. That would actually be an ideal project for your um, junkyard you wanted to do. Or you could put it on the layout itself. Still good for that. Ooh. Oh, that is in nice condition. That's probably the nicest version of this that I now own. All the chrome is shiny. Okay, that's going over there with all the other nice stuff. Here, Another broken transformer. I'm not seeing them. Oh, I'm gonna keep him. I'll show you him in a minute. I've got Disney's cars Porsche here. Not really my sort of thing, so another Hot Wheels fancy thing. Again, I don't like that one, so I'm not gonna keep it. Ah! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Completed it. That is a weird looking thing, but I like it. Uh, he has a Corby Junior's Guy Warrior truck. That's right. Um, gotta catch them all. I'm guessing that opens up some... Ah, there we go. No Pokemon in it though, so I've got an empty one. Got another empty one. <laughs> so I would have had quite a bit of car boot fodder. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a little smart car for the railway. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. <laughs> uh, another thing that can go be donated because someone's painted it. I can't imagine anyone would want that on eBay. I'm going to put that in my junk pile. I do like these cars, so it's a shame someone's uh, pulled all the roof off of it. But we've still got the hood intact. It doesn't open, but we've still got the hood there. Hot Wheels. I'm not sure about that one. I think it's one of their fantasy models. I'm just not sure about it. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. I'm determined to find a half dip. Well, that one is probably the better one I own out of all of them now. I think I've got like three of these. <laughs> Nearly every time I find one, they are in crap condition. We've got a completely more what looks like a completely bare metal Porsche. That's an ideal um, Code 3 project, that is. Yep, we've got another one. Oh, I found the other arm for that green transformer. And a tire. And a wheel. Army man. <laughs> um, well, that's missing its doodah. We'll keep this though, it's rough, but I haven't got that version of it, so that'll do for the time being. Okay. Um. There's nothing on it, but I weirdly I like it. I do like keeping good ones of these as well. 
So I have got various transports that they can go with. And a Mustang, at least for the junkyard, but it's got good wheels, it's got one good tyre on it. And whatnot. Good interior, good base. And heck of a lot worse condition than the other one though. Oh, there's two of these, isn't it? Alright, we haven't got many more left in here, then we've got a lot of junk. So we've got two of these, one in a bronzy colour, one in a red colour. And another corgi. Is that a whiz wheels? Yes, missing all of can it be that's all got broken on it though. I don't have many corgis in my scrap yard, so that could go in there at least. I keep those. That's the cover for a Majorette truck. So I'm going to keep that. This is what I want to keep. I want to keep him. Look, I've got Pluto. <laughs> I'm going to put him up here on the PC. Grab a handful, so... Oh, that's a shame. It's lost the mechanism from it, but... Hold of that one. Uh, I have got that one, so I'm not interested in that one. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sad I've got it. And a Corgi Land Rover. I nearly called it a Range Rover again. But it's got the front axle this time. in there. Uh, corgi truck with a white roof. Another one of these uh, Leyland Ergomatic cabs, pipe trucks. Missing two of its posts. Okay, there's another one of those Mercedes. Missing the windshield again and the steer no, nope, steering wheel is there. I'm going to put that in the scrap pile. There's still some good bits on that. Another one of these, missing the engine. I'll say another one because I've got a few of them. Okay, this has lost all its wheels. Typhoo T though. And the orange version of it, which is missing the black bit that the pipes and whatnot would have sat on, but... Could be an eBay. I have got a few of the boxes for these, so I will keep that. Don't need to keep that. Got a few of them. Another corgi for the scrap box. Some missing the rear wheels. Corgi Rockets missing its wheels, but I'm sure I can find those. Another Corgi Ferrari here. Which has actually got different stickers on to that one over there. The other one's got the Italian flag on the front, on the bonnet. Or the frog, because I think these are rear engine, don't they? Yeah. And the yellow version of that tipper. <laughs> I can't remember what it's meant to be on the side of that. Oh, I've got a few of these with um, like Scooby Doo characters on. Racing Champions, maybe China. TM and copyright Hanna Barbara. Nine. Ninety-eight Dodge Ram. Another little vintage matchbox. 
just think, uh, I think that's a generator truck that someone's uh, painted silver. One for the donation pile. It's quite a common version of that. bit of a drag car because it's missing all the engine and quite a nice Corgi Mercedes actually it's got a load of random junk in here look at this trailer it's a majorette trailer probably keep that just to put all the other majorette stuff you know, figure out what actually goes on it um, A metal hopper for something. A couple of tyres, like I said, we've got this for this. Which I think will actually go back on there. Like that. It's transforming. very well but it is working. And other than that, we've just got a lot of junk. That's it. Quite literally a load of junk. Ah, found an axle for one of those matchboxes. Uh, the snow plow. I could glue it back together. What is this? Just a little weird model car. I forgot that was in there. Don't know if it's worth keeping the um, couple of loose at all. It's worth keeping that tyre. As for that green transport truck at the beginning of the video. Maybe we'll cut the tyres like that as well. I don't know what they're for. I'll put those in my box of tyres. Um, we've got a couple of axles here. I don't know what they're for either. We've got an interior for something. set of wheels. I was hoping you know that we might have had the uh, loose wheel in there for um, that Siku Mercedes but unfortunately it doesn't look like it. Well, there's certainly a lot more in the keep pile than I was expecting. We filled up the box for um, the stuff I'm going to give away and try my luck with on eBay. And then I've got a nice pile over there for the uh, junkyard box. Maybe junk that one as well. It's nice, isn't it? I know what fire truck this goes on, but it's not here. It's unusual to find just that bit. Anywho, that's the end of the video. I have no idea how long it's taken us to get through all of this. Um, not too big, I know. I thought some of them wheels would have gone on this. Too big. 
That's a shame because I would have liked to have uh, fixed that one. Just like the style of it, I like the truck. Oh, I thought that was hinged, it's just a couple of wheels. I mean, technically, it still transforms. It's just missing the rear wheels. <laughs> Race team. Right, anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash a like button. If you didn't, hit the like, uh, dislike button. And, of course, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one and other random videos. You know, it doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to check the video description down below the video, there will be links to my other two YouTube channels, my Discord server, my Twitch, and an email if you wish to contact me via that way. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.